I love making people laugh. It's like, oh, I see. That's what gets you. That's the key I need for that lock. <laughs> All right, Montreal! When I talk about unlocking, it's like I have a creativity that I'm trying to use to express certain ideas to people. And they'll either resonate with it or they won't. And that's what improv is all about. <laughs> Given that, imagine the communication that you do today, assisted and augmented by the technology, that's empowering. I think these tools are really the thing that could unlock our capacity in the future. My dad was an internet installer. He taught me the power that came with technology. I went into biomedical engineering. That appealed to my interests of how technology and humans interact. And one of my supervisors said like, oh, that's not the kind of problem we're gonna solve. That's the kind of problem we'll give to the computer scientists. They solve the hard problems. And my entire mind just went like, whoa. If they're solving the hard problems, I wanna be one of them. At that time, I was doing comedy, and I was like, I'm gonna do this weird science experiment called Piggy from My Fair Lady. The idea was I would talk into a microphone and the chatbot would respond. That was the first show I did with an AI improviser, and that was probably the moment where my two worlds collided. I knew DeepMind, it was sort of the place that existed if you wanted to study the hardest questions in AGI research. And I thought, wow, this is really the place to go. Your day-to-day -day as a research scientist is very much a, defined around ideas, experiments, hypotheses, and presentation and communication of those ideas. Do we all use language models in our day-to-day -day life? So a large language model, it's just a way to predict the word that comes next. So like, if I'm speaking and I'm gonna tell you that for breakfast I had a peanut butter and, then you might imagine in your mind, what word might come next? And that's because you have some sense of like the likelihood statistics of all the words that there are in the world and the ones that might come next. Once you have a tool like a language model that is able to ideate experiments and hypotheses with you, then you can leverage its capacity to help you come up with new ideas. I use the term co-creativity because it's going to do things we can't even imagine, and that's the helpful piece that we want. And then we can work on projects all of a sudden that are much bigger than we can keep in our own minds. So yeah, I'm so excited because the future is what we're making now. <laughs>